unakuta imepita zap ipokovatiki because of what you have relaxed umeona kwamba mali nimefika sasa nimepata but remember we have said there is god here and the satan is here there is competition and if there is competition you are not supposed to start sleeping you are supposed to look for these mysteries what is that god has given to us to make us powerful what is that god has given to us to make us uh, to have authority you have to know you have to find out you, are, you need to know ni sheria gani kwa biblia zimewekwa za kuweza kukufanya you live a successful life praise god we have been told you have been given power to trade upon serpents lions cobras you will trample the great lion and the serpents because he loves me says the lord i will rescue him i will protect him for the for he acknowledges my name just acknowledging the name of god he will sing into action wana asifiwe sana so this morning what god is trying to teach us let us know our rights as christians if you have accepted salvation that is the basic that is the entrance level umeingia katika wana wa mungu wa kutaka kuenjoy yale mungu ameweka there are many things that are supposed to happen after salvation to assure you a, a life that is of victory a life of blessing a life that you can tap so this morning god wants to remind us kama ni weapons we have them hmm? kama ni weapon we have them you know i was listening to a tape of a brother who was a satanist and god delivered him and he was talking to us about why we don't succeed as christians and there is one thing that he talked idolatry idols idols we have our idols that are stopping the power of god from operating and he gave an example like for example now we are having this church we want to advertise this church we want to to look for members people who can be able to attend the church so when i was listening to his testimony it discouraged me because it says because of the idols that many people are having you will find announcement being made a man of god is coming in town and he's going to conduct a seminar from this time to this time and you know there will be free lunch hallelujah see that meeting will have many people because there is free in other words we cannot and we cannot advertise god without putting an idol an idol i'm not discouraging about the strategies that we are having so that we can have people coming over but it is one of the example that if these people knew what god wants to teach them you will see people flocking they want to understand what new thing god has put in this church there are so many churches which have come up there are big churches that we cannot compete with but what i'm telling god is can this church can this altar be able to be different the last time when i was preaching i said this altar is very new it has not been defiled it is not dirty and it is upon us the people who are uh, supervising this altar to make sure that it remains clean in other words it remains hot 
we continue making sure that the fire is burning in the altar. And once the fire is burning in the altar, without fail, the sick people who comes in, they will be delivered. They will be healed. People who are bound, when they come in, Madabao will be able to protect them, will be able to fight for them. So our duty as the people who are in charge of this altar is to make sure this altar remains clean, remains hot. And the Holy Spirit, for him to be able to dwell in that altar, it must be clean. It must be wow. So you don't have to call the Holy Spirit to the Holy Spirit to come. You don't have to call the Holy Spirit. It is for you to make the environment of the Holy Spirit to come. Once you make the environment of the Holy Spirit, it will happen naturally. When the rain comes, the rains when the rain comes, whether you like it or you don't like it, plants will, will sprout. Meat it anza kutokezea tu. Nyasi zinaanza kutokezea. Hata wewe ukisema kwamba sitaki nyasi, the environment in kwamba kuna maji. So if that environment favors the plant to come out, they will come out without being stopped. And that's why I'm saying this altar we have to create an environment whereby the Holy Spirit, whether you like it or not, He will be here. He will be here. And for that reason, I want to advise all of you to make an environment where the Holy Spirit can be able to come and dwell in your life. You don't have to call. You don't have to cry. It is for you to create an environment where the Holy Spirit finds favor and comes to you. The Holy Spirit will start walking with you. The Holy Spirit will be able to walk side by side with you. And where the Holy Spirit is, you cannot see the devil. He will try his level best. He will throw uh, arrows here and there. He will try to shake you. But if you know you have the Holy Spirit, you have God. And if you have God, what will be a big problem? You will not be scared by small things. Do not be scared by anything, any strong man <clears throat> problems that you could be facing now. It will not be an issue to you. Okay? So what I'm saying is create space for the Holy Spirit so that you can dwell. And then lastly, I wanted us to read Judges chapter 3 verses 1 to 2 which says these are the nations the Lord left to test all those Israelites who had not experienced any of the wars in Canaan. He did this only to teach warfare to the descendants of the Israelites who had not had previous battle experience. Kendi. Probably some of the battles you are going through, God is trying to train you. Okay? Battles. Sometimes God lives so that He can train you. You know, God wants the best. Hata kile, you know, the soldiers, the way they are trained. He doesn't want a soldier who is lazy, who cannot run, who cannot carry, who cannot resist, who cannot stay uh, for long. Okay? Sometimes God wants to train us and He releases some of the things. Sometimes it's not the devil. Mm -hmm. There is a verse uh, Fanny really likes 16, which says, See, it is I who created the blacksmith who fans the coals into flame and forges a weapon fit for its work. And it is and it is I who have created the destroyer to wreak havoc. Hmm? No weapon forged against you will prevail. And you will 
refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage. This is my right as a servant of God. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. 15 says, if anyone does attack you, if any sickness, if any problem does attack you, it will not be my doing. Whoever attacks you will surrender to you. In other words, there is nothing at all that comes to kill you unless you accept it to kill you. God is giving us assurance that if you are a sick, it is not to kill you. Probably to teach you how to trust upon God. In other words, what I'm saying, you are not supposed to die if your time has not come. If your time has not reached, if you die today, it is illegal. If you die today, it is illegal if your time has not reached. But many people are dying before their time. Do you know why? They don't know that they have the right to say no to death. And because you don't know, the devil atakuwa na kustarete na kifo kila siku. E ukio na tembe hivi, we have fear. Hai, tena nitafika. Uko kwa barabara, hai, tena nitafika. The devil, every time he presents death sentence to you. And because you don't know your rights, you give in. Let me tell you the truth. If you are sick today, and your time has not come, you have the right to say no. Mpaka siku zangu zifike, ndo nitaondoka. And God will listen to you. Hauta kufa. And that is why, once you understand the Bible, you live with the, the peace that you need. Hauta kuwa na wasuwasi, kwa mba sijaolewa. Hauta kuwa na wasuwasi kwa mba sinakazi. Hauta kuwa na wasuwasi kwa mba niko safari. See, then, hauta kuwa na wasuwasi wa wote. You just relax the Lord. Because you know, huh? I have the authority. Hmm? Kama umekupatiwa pesa na witako kitumia, makosa niyako. Hmm? You remain poor. By the way, the Bible says, Abraham was rich. There are many people who are rich in the Bible. In other words, even rich riches, you are supposed to have. This is our right to have riches. It is our right to have money. It is our right to have peace. Because it has been assured here. But we need to study the Bible, we need to study the Word of God so that we can know what are we supposed to do here and there and here and there. And that is why I am standing before you under King's Transformation Church Kitengela to teach the mysteries of God that will make somebody successful, that will make somebody succeed, make somebody to overcome, make somebody to be able to claim his rights. Once you know you are able to claim your rights without fear. Eh? As a citizen of Kenya, you are supposed to have a passport of Kenya. As a citizen, you are supposed to get services that you cannot get in Tanzania. As a citizen of heaven, you are supposed to start claiming your rights. But do you know your rights? That is the question. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. That's what the Bible says. Okay? Uh, but I don't take a headache to be sickness. Sickness is what does not have medicine to cure, like cancer. That's what I call sickness. If you are cured of headache, it's better to say, ah, you just take Panadol. But the diseases that don't have medicine, like cancer, AIDS, that is what I call sickness. And the Bible says, by the stripe of Jesus Christ, we are healed. In other words, you are supposed to live cancer free. You are supposed to live HIV free. You are supposed to live free of any terminal disease. If you know your rights in God. So I want to, I want to incite you people to seek the mysteries in the Bible. What is there that is supposed to be done for me to be able to enjoy the citizenship of heaven?